Hi any of you, I'm Katrina and today I'm going to be talking about an Instagram versus reality type story. I'll insert the photo of what I'm talking about and it looks like a lovely beach photo. For the time we spent on the beach, it really was wonderful. So this is one of the closest beaches near Rome, it's called Virgene. But I guess what's not shown in that photo is the journey to get there and the journey back. So my friends and I decided probably about 1 p.m. on a Saturday that we wanted to go to the beach and we knew there was a train we could take from our nearest station that would get us to Fregene, or so we thought. So the next train wasn't for 40 minutes and we decided, you know, that was fine. It was a 20 minute train. And so we get off at the train station after waiting, I guess an hour. We realize it's four miles away from the beach. I considered walking, but when we looked at the maps, it was basically all freeway or highway to get to the beach. So that wasn't an option. And there were no taxis or anything around. We figured out from the bar, which is where you buy coffee and bus tickets and things like that in Italy, where to go and what bus to get on. So then we get off at the beach. Something we didn't really think about was how to get public access to the beach. We saw a ton of beach clubs and restaurants, but we probably spent about 15, 20 minutes figuring out how to get to the water. So then we got to the water and that's what this photo was and it was wonderful. Then it was time to get back and it was dark. So we decided that instead of figuring out the bus system, cause we didn't have return tickets, we had return train tickets, but we still needed to get to the station. We were just going to take a cab to the airport because we were near Fumicino. And from Fumicino, there are trains that go to where we live every 15 minutes and they're super quick. So we decided to use my taxi because it would only take 20 minutes for a taxi to get there and they were coming from the airport. So it would only take 20 minutes for us to get there. But it ended up being way longer than that. We went a really roundabout way. On this app, it's like Uber. You have to swipe to pay though at the end, but I've always used it with a card. And for some reason, this taxi driver was saying we had to pay in cash. So we ended up going to the ATM, getting cash out and paying him. And then once I got connected to Wi-Fi, I realized the app charged me as well. We got a refund though, but this photo in the end ended up costing way more than any of us anticipated that day. I guess the lesson out of all of this is it's good to be spontaneous, but maybe look at train schedules before and figure out those mundane details that you don't really want to when you're wanting to go on an adventure. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to the Geo channel.